I know. I finally am opening Core 2020. I'm new to the party. We are finally going to investigate what this shenanigans with the lion is up to recently. Welcome, everybody. My name is Rudy. And yeah, of course, you're watching Timmy's Investments. These boxes were purchased by my patron, Vincent, all the way from Canada. So, Vincent, you get to go first on my adventure of Core 2020 openings. I haven't... This is my first one. I haven't even opened Core 2020. People are like, Rudy, Rudy's trying to not pump Core 2020. He hasn't even talked about Core 2020. We don't even know if it's a good set. Rudy hasn't done it. Something shady's going on. Yep, I was behind. And now I'm finally caught up. So we can finally do it. But, of course, I like the conspiracy theories better. It's more exciting. All right, so this is the first time I'm doing this. Which means I'm not going to be talking about pricings or anything. I'm not familiar with the set, even though it's like four months old already. Tail's end. Okay. Whoa. Uh, is this a special token? Why is the token like full art? Is that normal? Okay. That's pretty neat. That was a pretty looking... Wow, that was a really cool chick token, man. That warrior female, that was pretty cool. That looked pretty impressive. All right. And we've got Mu Yang Lang Sky Rudy Dancer. Uh, Mythic Plane... Now, I don't... I'm assuming there's a ton of Planeswalkers in this. Oh, they reprinted these? Really? Seriously? Alright. I like the pack art, though. That looks really nice. Definitely feeling that pack art. It's pretty cool. So, uh, Commons, don't care. Herald, Looming Corpse, and Icon of Ancestry. Whoa, that is neat. That reminds me of that zombie one from Innistrad with the glass-stained, um, mirror. Foil Common! A, a bird. Nothing too crazy. So, interesting. So, so far, at least for, i just been following the numbers on this. The, the expected value in the numbers seems stronger than 19. But, I mean, I haven't really noticed any drastic wake root elemental. Holy smokes. Five green to do. I like the lands. Good vibrant colors on this set. Uh, I haven't heard anything negative about the card quality or card stock either. Not sure if there's any... God's Willing is uncommon in this? Really? From Conspiracy? Temple of Triumph. All right, so I didn't know about the Scry lands were brought back. Thought that was kind of a, a strange direction, which makes a lot of people think we're returning to the Pharos and God sets coming up here in a little while. Shock, huh? Boy, that card again. And Pulse, really? Oath of the Gatewatch, interesting. And Leyline, Leyline. Now the these things are always beautiful enchantments. So I'm assuming they're all five of these Leylines. I'm gonna call them just Leylines for the rest of the videos. Um, I know those are probably pretty hot, expensive cards. I don't know which is the really good one, but all right. And Sky's Blade, beautiful angels. Oh, look at those swords. That's kind of sweet. And, oh, I thought that was a sliver. It's a dinosaur? Okay, common. The first one that I do these videos are always fun to do. Because you get to watch Rudy just look like a complete whack job. And big crazy drag. Wow, a lot of big casting cost creatures, huh? I haven't seen that in a while. Especially in modern magic, man. We don't just big gigantic casting cost cards are usually not really... You know, they're kind of frowned upon. Another Leline! Okay. Anticipation, blue one. Okay, so all the Lelines are rares, not mythics. That's interesting. Um, I'm assuming the... I remember there was a land cycle in this. And I heard it was terrible. Flood of Tears! Nice little sorcery. I like the lands. Nice colors. The, the cards, actually, the card stock feels very nice. It's got that uh, War of the Spark. The, uh, the softer, more matte finish. Kind of the type of feel... On the clear coats of the car. Planner cleansing? Really? You reprinted that from M13? The strange toy. What's with the tokens, man? Wow. These are wild looking tokens. Okay. Really? Hell 2 cards in the back? That's kind of weird. Those tokens. Wow. That's... So I guess all the tokens are just generic kind of full art tokens? It's kind of a unique shift. Ooh, I always like the lands. That's neat looking caves. And Cavalier of Night. Wow, another big casting cost creature. Alright, so it's only a two mythic box in the first couple packs, not too bad. Alright, definitely uh, definitely an interesting feel to this set. Night, night pack ambusher, a lot of werewolves. Wow, that's, that's probably worth something. Oh, oh, I thought it was, there's no fetch lands, there's shock lands. I don't know why I got excited about it. Hmm, alright. And I'm pretty sure this was the set that had like the... $40 Mythic Chandra or something. Hanged Executioner. And, a, a, ooh, beautiful Swampy. I like that Spirit Token. Very pretty. They really changed the card frames on the tokens. That's kind of a strange... I wonder where that came from. Of course it's a Hydra! Wouldn't be magic. Right, everybody? Colossus Hammer. That's beautiful. Nice foiling. Nice coloring on the art. 
Uh, colors are nice and uh, good contrast. Nice and vibrant on that. That's nice. It's nice to see. And Chandra, there she is. Acolyte of... She looks very young. Is that a flip card? No. Okay, it's like a teenage Chandra. Okay. Oh, it's a rare. I just realized it's a rare, not even a mythic. Okay. All right. Teenage Chandra. That's interesting. She looks kind of all young and smiley. Kind of Temple of Silence and another Scryland. Wow, that's interesting. So feels like a pretty good box. I'm not really. I'm gonna assume the the Chandra the Chandra rare is probably not the home run. There's probably more than one. Glinthorn and the Foily Island is our foil land. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hammer and oh, skipped an uncommon. Oh well. Elvish Reclaimer. Good old elves always around. Whoa! Look at that nice foiling elemental. And look at that forest too. Wow. I'm really feeling the the art is. I've been really happy lately with the art. It's I feel like they've really done a little bit of a better job. And drawn from dreams. Interesting little sorcery. Okay. It's been interesting. The artwork feels slightly, uh, I don't know. It feels a little bit more detailed again. Maybe it's just me. Cavalier of Flame. Whoa. God, these monster creatures. Five drops, six drops, seven drops. Wow. Ca oh, there's a Cavalier of Flame. Cavalier and... Oh, there's, there's a Cavalier of each color. Kind of like the finales and the... Uh, in war, huh? Okay, I didn't realize that we were... Okay, we're doing that. All right. Okay, Locust Man. Really? You're back, huh? I haven't seen you since, like, Battle for Zen. Befuddle, full common. That's cool, the old Omna, huh? That's pretty neat. Okay. And Lotus Field. Now, this one I remember hearing about. Wouldn't be a good magic set if you didn't have something to do with a flower or lotus. Probably the coolest land card in the set. I mean, I have to admit, that's pretty neat. I like the fact that it has Hexproof. That's probably the most interesting for the actual land. Mystic Forge. Was this a reprint of another Forge card? No, maybe a little different. Soul Mender, reprint from M15. Okay. It's interesting to see over the years, when you've been doing this stuff so long, that the cards they choose to reprint and kind of the direction of things. It's very fascinating. Vivian in the Mythic slot. Uh, okay, so that's a second. Are there still a lot of Planeswalkers in this? That's our second Planeswalker Mythic, and we've got the Chandra in the rare slot for a Planeswalker also. Loxodon Life Chaucer, okay. Whoa, that's cool looking for us. Um, this is, I don't know, I, I feel like they're just really overdoing with too many Planeswalkers. I know I've always said that, but most people seem pretty happy, so obviously I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Steel Overseer, okay. Hmm. So I am assuming this is a five mythic box. Seems like we got a bunch of good rares, right? Marauding wrap, a lot of dinosaurs again, huh? Golly, what's the cast? Oh, only two drop. Okay, I assume that was like another eight drop flipping monster giganto creature is what I thought we were looking at again. And another mythic. Wow, Kalia. Isn't she the real expensive commander reprint? No, Zenus. This is maybe a different version. Wow, okay. So six mythic box. Okay, box one, not bad. I don't, wait, we haven't seen the full rare, have we? No. Icon of Ancestor, okay, we got a duplicate. And nice looking planes there. Very strange little set we got here, everybody. M20, huh? And Temple of Epiphany. Wow, they did all the temples in this, huh? That's our third rare temple land. What a strange choice for the lands. Okay, so there's a, okay, so there's more. There's an uncommon Planeswalker, Chandra. Okay, so there's clearly one in every rare slot. Boy, they love the Planeswalkers nowadays, man. Wow. And Knight of the Aboon. Le wow, really? Like a Fallen Empire throwback? That's neat. Sentinel. That's kind of neat. That, guy, that guy gives me a little wowzers. Okay. I like that. Temple of Milady. Really? Wow. That's what was that? Four Temple Lands? They really did all the temples from the Theros block? Really? Brought back. Huh? Oh! Oh my god, it's a mythic version! Are you kidding me? Is that the most expensive card in the set? Are you serious? I... Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Whoa! Oh god! Holy crap! I did not pre-order tonight's taco dinner for everybody. Wow! Hydra again? Unbelievable! What are the odds of that? Holy crap! And a giant dinosaur. Oh my 
God. Foil. Ch what? That's unbelievable. What is it? Wait a minute. Three drop for a 7-6? Discard a card? Oh, my God. Whoa, that's a crazy card. Unless you got some graveyard craziness. Okay, Vincent, dude. What is going on? Rudy's first Core 2020 box opening. You know I'm deleting this video. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to watch. Everyone's going to be like, Rudy opens the first one ever on his channel. And he hits... <laughs> Foil Chandra Mythic. Wow, dude. That is... Congratulations, Vince. That is epic! What an epic start! And starting off with the Knights again. I'm assuming that's got to be like a $30 regular Mythic, so the foil's got to be like 50 bucks, right? And for a $79 booster box, another Hydra. And a Volsclaw. It's a neat-looking foil. That has to be a monster hit. Like, that has to be one of the most expensive cards in the set. Unless the Lee line thing is one of them's the best. Dread Presence. Didn't get you in the other one. And a Tomb Leech. Awakened Inferno of Chandra. Wow. That's nuts. Wow, what are the odds of that start? Flood of Tears. Six Mythic Box with a Foil Mythic right out of the gate. Oh, look at that green card with that different old look on the card frame. Glintorn again. Okay. Craziness, everybody. Absolute craziness. And the Maw of Flames. Seven drop massive dragon again. I gotta look up some of these prices because I'm sitting here thinking there's no way all these massive six, seven, eight drop creatures are worth something. There's no way. Bishop of Wings and the wow, these cards look really nice. Overcome. Is anybody else is anybody experiencing card stock problems? Because these just this bash looks really nice. Maybe it's just me, but wow, planner cleansing again. Really? We're already getting all the, the duplication. Like, what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that, everybody? So, anyways. Let's move some of these commons. Hang on. All right. Do you want to knock make a mess? And, oh! What is this? I thought, is that a sliver? No. Oh, it's an elemental. I thought it was a sliver by the picture. The desecrated. Wow, okay. Mythic number one. This is some wacky, doesn't really have a theme to this. Feels like there's all kinds of just cards mixed together in this bad boy. Temple of Mystery. Foil Evolving Wilds, my original buyout spec. I am cornering the market on Evolving Wilds. Hashtag Rudy evolves into your wild. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right. And Chandra's a Regulator. That's neat. And a Foily Uncommon Bird. Dude, that was crazy. I cannot believe we hit a foil mythic on the first one. You know the comment section. Yeah, right. Rudy's opened 400 boxes. He finally found one. And he just uploaded the first video. You know that's what's coming. You know that's what's coming. <laughs> oh, God. It's just so funny. Whoa. Scheming symmetry. Whoa. Another Seb, huh? Another Seb artwork. Whoa. Look at that bad boy. That is a wild looking card. Outrage. Okie dokie. This is... I don't know. Maybe ever And... Wow! Really? Awakened Inferno non-foil version this time. Mythic number two. Uh, watch it, Watch that card be like down to five bucks. And everyone's just making fun of me in the comment section. Because I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Watch. Night Pack. This seems like a really good wolf card, by the way. Just... I'm like... Anything that always makes all wolves kind of stronger and has some other ability. It always... Especially for only, what was it like, oh, it's a four drop. Eh, it's a little high. And Steel Overseer. Anyways, very cool start, everybody. Very, very cool. Good, good stuff. And Dungeon Geis. Whoa, okay, so we got a little Innistrad theme action going on, huh? Foil, Feral, Abomination. Strange little common. Well, we got all kinds. Of, so we got cards and themes from Theros. Got some Innistrad themes there. A lot of M15 cards. Mystic Forge, that reminds me of M14? M13? A lot of, uh... Alright, a lot of, uh, a lot of shenanigans right there, huh? Okay. And a Johnny! Strain, okay, wow, how many Planeswalkers are in this set? Holy smokes, are you kidding me? Um, alright, that's kind of strange, but we're gonna just go with it. And a, wow, really? Winds Fury Bird Wizard? What in the world's a bird wizard? Okay. 
super weird, but okay. We're running into some weird stuff today. Ah, uh, Sphinx! Origins. There we are. Uncommon Origins. And what do we got here? Oh, just a Swampy. Just a Swampy. Thought we had something crazy going on. Alright, let's see what we got. And Leline, the lead line of anticipation. I don't know which lead line. Was the blue one? Green? Black? Which one's the best one? I'm sure one of them's probably worth like 10, 20 bucks and the rest suck. Shared summons. And a foil rare is the dinosaur. It's kind of surprised. There's a lot of dinosaurs, big creature themes. I really didn't expect that. Especially after coming off the backs of the Ixalan block. I didn't think we would kind of be. I don't know, whoa, repeated reverberation. That's a wild one. I'm sorry, I gotta pronounce it wrong. Repeated uh rubber. Rur, uh, I'm supposed to people get mad if unless I, if I pronounce it correctly. I'm supposed to do Rudy pronunciations, everybody. Come on, people. Alright. And we got the Cavalier. Wow, another mythic? Wow, fifth mythic already. Cavalier of Gales, Elemental Knight. Wow, how many mythics are in this set? Is this a 15, 18 mythic set? It feels like a lot of mythics. And Field of the Dead. I haven't seen you yet. Ooh, that's spicy. And it can pump out some zombie creatures, huh? If you kind of meet those requirements. Okay, that's a neat little rare. That's cool. Nice little change up on the land cycle. Legion's N. Legion's N. Wow, this is this feels like a really big set. Holy smokes, still seeing a lot of cards I do not even recognize. Whoa, look at that thought. Look at that. Look at that thought distortion. Isn't that a creepy card? Wake Root Elemental and a Captain Knight Common. Again, a Captain Knight Common. It's all right. It's all right. Let it go, everybody. Just a common. And what do we got? The Broker of Blood. Look at that bad boy, huh? All right. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Boop, boop, boop. And Lead Line of Sanctity. Again, the white one. So have we gotten all of them? Which one have we not seen? The black and the blue? Or the black and the green? Which lead line have we not seen? And Temple of Silence. The first box opening we just did, uh, um, what, five minutes ago? What did we get? Like five? What we get? Four or five? Scrylands? Another? Wow, see? It's crazy. And a really pretty elemental common. Got right, everybody. Only three packs left. Overall, Vincent, congratulations. Uh, I'm going to assume these are both very good. Another Lotus Field for the double tap. I'm going to assume you did very well. Uh, both of these boxes feel incredibly strong. Uh, at least from what I'm gathering, just by the quantity of Mythics. And the amount of scry lands. You got double tap on the Lotus Field. You got a foil Chandra Mythic. Holy smokes. There's the Black Lee line. I think it's the first time we've gotten that one. Okay. So I'm sure one of those Lee lines is probably the most expensive, but wow. Feels like a really good opening. I'm sure people will do the numbers. Starfield Mystic and an ending with the Sleep Paralysis. So anyways... This is my very first core 2020 box opening on the channel. I have 29 more of them scheduled over the next couple months. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care of yourselves and make sure you enjoy your life. It's too short to just be negative and upset. There's a lot of beauty out there. If you don't believe me, come on down to the basement. I got some nice red popsicles for you. Giggity!